Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back with your boy Luke. Hey guys, so I'm just going to get straight to the point. A couple of my subscribers were robbed last night in Tijuana. August the 16th, they were robbed. Both of the subscribers, it was two separate incidences and both of them were robbed by the Tijuana police. I'm going to go over what happened, talk about this, let you guys know so maybe it can be avoided. The first guy got robbed after he left the tropical bar. Now, I would also like to point out that a taxi cab could have been involved in this situation, and I'm going to go over the taxi and Uber situation after I go over the robbery situation, okay? All right, guys, so check this out. He leaves the tropical bar. When he leaves the tropical bar, he gets in a cab. They get down the road. They get pulled over by the Tijuana City Police. He gets searched, and when he gets searched, they find $500 on him. He says they took his money. So here's the deal, basically. They took the $500 from the guy, and I want to break down this situation. Number one, I don't recommend the Tropical Bar. Not that there's anything wrong with the Tropical Bar, but I recommend Adelita, Hong Kong, Chicago, okay? Right off the bat. Number two, I have repeatedly told everyone not to carry a huge amount of cash with them in Zona Norte. This guy had $500, all right? So if he hadn't been at the tropical bar and he hadn't had $500 on him, then we probably would not have this problem. The second guy, I'll get back to that situation a little bit more. The second guy crossed the border at Otay Mesa. When he crossed the border at Otay Mesa, he took a cab to Revolution, from my understanding. And then he attempted to walk from somewhere on Revolution down to Zona Norte, down to the Coahuila. That's where he was stopped by the Tijuana police. Not sure how good his Spanish was, not sure the details, but the bottom line is he ended up losing $180. Okay, folks, as far as the guy from Tropical is concerned, the guy that got in the cab and they got pulled over, I want to know how it's possible that my channel's been up for over a year. I've got over 1,500 subscribers. We go to Zona Norte all the time. We talk about it all the time, and this is the first time that this has happened. You think that's a coincidence? I guarantee you it's not a coincidence, okay? Somebody was involved in there. Could have been the girl he was talking to. Could have been the people at the bar. It could have been the taxi driver. Somebody was definitely involved. It was an inside job, 100%. Me personally, I don't like the tropical for a couple different reasons. Um, it's a rough crowd. And I just, you know, I was talking to a girl there. She was a druggie. She mentioned a couple other bars in Nuevo Laredo that the Zetas control, things like that. And, you know, I just decided that uh, the Tropical wasn't a place for me. I hope you like it there. I hope you have a good time there. And I hope you don't end up getting robbed like this subscriber did. All right, back to the guy. Walking. Walking down Revolution is pretty safe, guys. Um, it really surprises me that they got the guy there. It really surprises me. But now you have to understand, when you leave Revolution and you walk by the Hotel Nelson down the hill, okay, and you start getting into Zona Norte and you start getting into Coahuila, guys, it's a different world, okay? And the way you have to understand this and the way you have to look at this situation is you go to Tijuana, you get a bang up broad, for, you get a bang up broad for like, 80 bucks. Okay. A hundred bucks. So that same girl would cost you probably four or 500 in Las Vegas. All right. If you get two girls for 300, that'd probably cost you a thousand dollars in Las Vegas. Okay. You're getting cheap hotel rooms. You're getting cheap taxi rides. You are making out like a bandit in Tijuana. Okay. With everything. So if you get caught and you lose a couple hundred dollars every now and then, that's just the cost of doing business folks. That's what it is. You know, I was talking to the guy that got robbed on Revolution and I asked him, I said, how many times have you been down there? And he said, oh, at least 15 or 20 times. And I said, okay, so you've been 15 or 20 times. How many times has this happened to you? He said, one time. Okay, folks, that averages out to like 12 or $15 a trip, okay? $10 a trip. That's just the cost of doing business and that's that's how you have to look at that. Is it right? Absolutely not. Do I condone it? Absolutely not. But that kind of stuff happens from time to time. Now, 
Let me get into the taxi cab and the Uber situation right here. By the way, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, we talk about all things Tijuana. We talk about the bars, the girls, everything you can imagine we talk about. So hit that red subscribe button. Stay with me. Watch my other videos. All right, guys. So check this out. Now, the Uber situation versus taxi situation. One of the guys put a comment on my wall that says, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. You should use Uber because the taxi drivers are corrupt. Okay. Thanks there, Einstein. Appreciate your advice. Guys, check this out. Not everybody's phone works in Tijuana. All right. That's why I said in my video, take a taxi from the border to Zona Norte. Okay. I recommend walking across the border, getting in a cab, going from point A, the border, to point B, the Hong Kong club. Period. Okay. And the reason why I said taxi instead of Uber is because not everybody's phone works in Mexico. Not everybody has an Uber account. And when you walk across the border, there's a million taxi drivers right there saying, hey, taxi, taxi, taxi. I even specifically went further to tell you that when you get in a taxi, do not allow him to take you anywhere else except for the places that you want to go and the places that I recommend. Okay. So there you go. That's that. Now, guys, also with what happened here with these guys getting robbed, you have to understand that this is just the story that I'm getting from my subscribers, okay? And I'm not discounting their story at all, but I'm just saying if they were up to no good, if they were doing something they weren't supposed to be doing, I seriously doubt that they would tell me and then, you know, have me make a video about it. So I'm just going on what they told me. But please understand in the big picture, we've had this channel going for over a year. I've personally lived in Tijuana for 10 years, okay? Have I been robbed by the cops in Mexico? Yes, okay? Most of the time I deserved it. Some of the times I didn't deserve it. But guys, this is something that's happened to only two of my subscribers. I've got 1,500 subscribers and we've only had two people report it. And I've got several of them that go down there every day, every week, okay? So this is not something that should detour you from going to Tijuana. It's not something that should necessarily scare you, but I hope it is a good reminder for you guys to follow the rules that I set forth for you guys. And, you know, I told you, unless you're a veteran, you don't have any business going to those other bars. Go to those first three bars, taxi cab, point A to point B and back. We got a guy walking down revolution toward, to, toward Coahuila. He gets picked off. Okay. And we got a guy with 500 bucks in his pocket. He gets picked off. You know, I guarantee you the girl told the taxi driver and the taxi driver told the cop and they were, that was totally planned. 100% almost. It wasn't just the one guy that happened to have $500 in his pocket happened to get pulled over by the police in Mexico. Didn't happen that way. Okay. Hey guys. Um, Sorry this happened, but I'm on vacation right now, but I wanted to make this impromptu video from my buddy's truck. Like, subscribe to my channel. Be careful. Follow the rules or you'll be the next guy I'm making a video about. Again, I'm sorry it happened to the guys it happened to. I don't condone it. It's not right, but it's Mexico. Chalk it up. Charge it to the game. Keep rolling.